So, hello world. I am going to talk about when you're too nice it backfires. <laughs> what does that mean? It means that when you're trying to be nice and not notice things that you notice, it's not going to work. <laughs> For example, um, <clears throat> Lately, I've been noticing how little people listen. Here's how you can tell. Um, you say something, and whatever the other person was talking about just continues rolling. There's absolutely no recognition of something you just said. Um, another thing that people do that you can be too nice about is blaming you for something they did. <laughs> um, like recently, <clears throat> I'm staying uh, in a place where at 4.30 in the morning on a certain day, 35-foot trucks show up, unload, and rev their motors about 20 feet from my bed. Oh, for about three hours. Eight of them showed up. Um, so I'm moving and I was told, well, you don't have a car. So I said, so you can't go anywhere. I said at 4:30 in the morning in the dark, no, no. Um, so a lot of times people try to make you wrong about something that has nothing to do with you. You just don't like it because it's your boundary and you don't want to be woken up and not be able to go to sleep for three hours um, and pay a lot of money for the privilege. Um, so it's interesting how if you're too nice about something like that and actually take on the the view that you should be apologetic about something that you, through no fault of your own Sometimes we feel like we should be extra nice about something that has nothing to do with us. So, being too nice can backfire because it lets the other person know that you can be pushed around um, and you're taking responsibility for something that had nothing to do with you. You may not like it, um, so I'm moving and I'm really relieved that I am. Um, and I wasn't going to be too nice and just pretend that it didn't bother me because that should have been disclosed to me. Disclosure is important. Um, sometimes people forget that when you're renting something or you're buying something that you're the one bringing the money. So without you, there'd be no business transaction because you're bringing the money. And, you know, not that you should be treated badly, but I've had my own business for 35 years and when people pay me to do a service, I perform at the height, at the top of my game. And I don't blame them if, uh, like one time when the Rodney, can't remember that guy, it was like 25 years ago, the whole world fell apart in California because of the riots in LA. I got some film lost and I'm not going to blame that on my cl cl <coughs> clients. I'm going to try and make it up to them. That's what should have happened in this circumstance. Um, so, you know, don't skulk around or act like you have to be extra nice to people that really have not been treating you with respect because it's going to backfire. So that's what I'm saying. Uh, don't be too concerned about being extra nice. You can be polite and equanimous, which means you're not affected either way. That's a challenge, but I wanted to talk about that because that's what happens in life and with all of this stuff going on in the world. Oh, oh my God. Let's just try and be calm. So I'll leave you with that. And thank you for your questions and your comments. And uh, I just love this community. And I'll see you in the next video.